morning students today we have to start with a new topic and the topic is about housefly so what is the biological name of housefly that is musca domestica okay domestica it means it is found in the house so that is why domestica so musca is the name of the genus and domestica is the name of the species so let's start with this housefly so this is an house this is a housefly you must have commonly observed this housefly in your surrounding so this part of the housefly is the head this part of the housefly is the thorax and this part of the housefly is the abdomen okay housefly is having the compound eye and it has a blunt proboscis you are observing here the body of the housefly and the legs of the housefly is hairy okay now two proboscis are used for housefly and what is it that is housefly is known as public enemy number 1 and why it is known as public enemy number 1 because it helps in the spreading of the diseases so since this housefly spreads the various types of infectious diseases that is why it is known as public enemy number 1 so which of the diseases which gets spread by these housefly that is cholera dysentery typhoid and many more then the other term used for the housefly that it is a natural scavenger why it is known as natural scavenger natural it means it is found in the nature in our surrounding scavenger it means it obtains its nourishment from the dead and decaying matter okay so in that way it will help in the keeping of our ecosystem clean so we can say that it is also the detergent of our ecosystem which helps in the cleaning so whatever dead plants and animals will be decomposed with the help of these house flies so that is why it is known as natural scavenger now let's see in the manner the manner in which these house fly is spreading the diseases so the first manner or is that its hairy body and legs will picks up the filth now first understand about filth so filth is the waste material or the refuse or the foul material okay which we commonly discard so where these house fly you have seen you must have seen the house fly near the places where the uh, waste material is there excretory material is there the person who has open uh, openly spitted over there also okay so at such places this house fly is found so there will be the filth and it is sitting over there so when it is sitting over the filth the hairy body and the hairy legs will pick up the filth then if this house fly coming from such places that is excretory matter waste matter okay uh, openly spitted areas and the same house fly when it is sitting on your food so your food is in the form of solid state and what you have seen in the picture it is having a proboscis and proboscis is mean to suck so it will suck the food material so before sucking it must has to bring down the food into the liquid or semi liquid state so that is why the uh, house fly when it is sitting on the uncovered food near the dhabas or the hotels or in your house also when the food is left uncovered they will sit and they will pour out saliva so if there is food so they will pour out saliva so the food will come into the semi liquid state and then that food will be sucked up okay then while eating the food 
it will also excrete okay so while eating or while sitting on your food so while this house fly is sucking the food they will also excrete over the food so you can understand how it is adding the all unwanted spices in your food powering out of the saliva excreting then bringing up the filth matter over your food then the next is direct transmission of germs for example if a person is suffering with trachoma trachoma is a type of eye infection so when a person is sitting um, having eye infection these house fly is sitting over there the hairy body will pick up the disease causing factor of the trachoma and the same house fly if it is sitting on a healthy person's eyes so the trachoma gets transferred from the unhealthy person to healthy person so this is the direct transmission of germs so these three ways are the ways in which the food if it is left uncovered such type of spices will be added and these are unwanted spices in your food so that is why we must need to cover our food then how we can control this house fly first of all we must eliminate the breeding places and what are the breeding places for the house flies the places where the dead and decaying matter or the waste matter is openly disposed in the surrounding so if this waste matter which is disposed in our surrounding if we add a layer of soil over it the soil is the house of millions of microorganisms so these microorganisms will start to decompose this waste matter and as a result of decomposition enough amount of heat will be released and this heat will kill the maggot stage of the house fly so in such a way maggots of the house fly will be killed and these house fly will be safe and uh, this uh, in this way the breeding place of the house fly will be removed and when the breeding place will be removed the number of house fly will usually decrease then the next step is spraying the spraying of the insecticides like ddt should be done over the breeding places so what is the full form of ddt certain times it is asked in your exams so ddt stands for dichloro diphenyl trichloro ethane d for dichloro d for diphenyl t for trichloro ethane so when such insecticides will be spread over the breeding places again this house fly will be dead by it and the number of house fly will decrease and the third step how we can control is by covering avoidance so whatever is the food material it must be properly covered if the bees are sleeping sleeping they must or we must use the mosquito nets so in such a way we can avoid the house fly to come in our contact and we can be protected from various types of diseases so this is all for today so what is your homework for today your homework is to write down the two ways in which we can control the house fly then the full form of ddt thank you everyone